Previously on the bill. There's Tavna, I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here, Sheila. Tell him it was a mistake. I never meant to hurt anyone. Oh my God, it's been the alarm now. I'm just trying to make him be quiet. He won't be quiet. Are you sure he's not breathing? Yes! But you only checked him five minutes ago! Get the first aid kit from behind the counter! I'll get an ambulance! Is Taverner causing trouble? D.I. Madden's here to transfer him. Yeah, well, that won't be possible because he's unconscious in there, he's not breathing. Uh, yeah, June, um, I need an ambulance to custody straight away. Custody? Yeah, uh, right, okay, ambulance on its way. There's Taverner's collapsed in custody. What? What happened? Look, we're going to have to get McCluskey out of here. Yes. I'll have him escorted to the FME's room. We need to preserve the scene. An officer down, blood on the floor. He could be suspicious. Put these guys through. Okay. Put the medics through. Sheila. We're doing CPR for the last ten minutes. There's still no response. Is that how you found him? Yes. Any sign of a fight? Not obviously, no. McCluskey's still our main suspect. We need to get him to the FME's room, his hands swabbed and his clothes bagged. Then sort out a full medical. Right, right that'll be taken care of. Also have him arrested with suspicion of assault to cover ourselves. Stand clear. 200. Come on, Des. Not like this. Come on. Stand clear. 360. Stand clear. Pupils fixed and dilated. We need to get him to St. Hughes. Will you come with me, Mr. McCluskey? Who are you? Superintendent Tokaro. <laughs> Superman, eh? You're gonna save me? They're all after me. You've got a promise to keep me safe. I promise. You'll be perfectly safe around here. You handled that really well. Not well enough. Well, you never know. They still might revive him. Yeah. Right, well, as soon as you can. My officers will be here in 20 minutes. That cell's out of bound. Now, the other prisoners are potential witnesses, so I'm going to need to speak to them. Meanwhile, you start a crime scene log and clear custody. Oh, pay all the prisoners? I'll transfer them. Barton Street is closed. This place is now officially a crime scene. I need it secured. Oh. Thanks. St. Hughes have just confirmed. Des Taverner was pronounced dead at 18.25. Right. I'll push for post-mortem as soon as possible. We'll keep custody closed until forensics are finished. Meanwhile, I'll start preparing a timeline up to the moment Taverner was found. I think you'll find everything you need in the records. I need more details than that, Gov. I want to know about every officer who was in custody this evening. I also need all their uniforms backed up. Did you have someone arrest McCluskey, sir? Yes. I'm not sure he understood what was happening. He asked me if I was Superman. I'll contact DPS. Ah, I've already done it. They're on their way. But any disciplinary issues are going to have to wait. I know how bad it looks, sir. Jack, it's a suspicious death in custody of a multiple murder suspect. You think it gets any worse? How would you describe custody earlier? Very busy. You asked for assistance. There was a backlog building up, so Sergeant Acklin was asked to help process the prisoners. And she booked in Des Tabna? Yes. Rather than you? There was a personal connection. You said your relationship with Des Tabna was over. It was. Doesn't look over to me. Look, I am aware of what you've been through. The collapse of your marriage. Discovering he was responsible for the fire. I urged him to give himself up. I know, but he disappeared. He let me believe he was dead. That I was alone. I had his child. 
a daughter called Neve. She died. So how did he feel when he came back into custody? I think an odd sense of relief. That wasn't relief, that was anger. I still did my job, sir. And when you visited him later in his cell? He demanded to talk to me. He was irrational, clutching at straws. It was pathetic. It's all in his custody record. There was no action required. Pocket white, Brandis. Neither can I, mate. We finally get our hands on this, Tavla. We get him banged up. He goes and dies on us. Where's the justice in that? Let's just sit home. There ain't none, is there? We've all just got to accept it. That's not good enough. Whose decision was it to double up Tavna with McCluskey? Oh, we had no choice. Yours? No. Who's that? Uh, Sergeant Murphy's. Sounds like it was chaos. Uh, it was busy, but uh, it was manageable. Did you hear Sergeant Murphy book McCluskey in? Not every word. Did you hear her ask him about any history of mental illness? It was very noisy. Or about any medication he was taking? No. I, I mean, surely this will all be on the tape. No, that's the problem. Background noise means the tape isn't very clear at that point. Why don't you ask PC Hollis? He was dealing with Robert McCluskey too. I'll do that. Did Des ever say that he was sorry for what he'd done? Come on, Tony, not now. No, 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 come on. He must have said something. No, you're his best mate. His shoulder to cry. All that Reggie Babe crap. Tell me, mate. Well, no! He killed six people, Rich. How did he sleep at night? Um, what's going on? Come on, mate, sit down. Rich. Come on. I just got a message from Dear Madden. He wants to interview you now. Oh, Sheila. How'd it go? I told him everything wrong. Well, good move. Yeah, well, he still made me feel like I'd done something wrong. Well, of course he did. It goes for the territory. Come on. Hi, Bruce. It's me. Listen, sorry, but I'm not going to be able to meet you tonight. Something's come up and I need to stick around. Is that okay? Okay, speak tomorrow. Sorry, I lost it in the canteen last night. Oh, you don't have to apologise to me, Tony. Do you know something? I actually stood up at that memorial service, sang Des Tavner's praises, called him a hero. I just don't know how Des could have lived with himself. Here yeah, or well, now, we'll never know. This only makes it worse. Why? Because there are no answers. Whole relief is struggling with the fact that someone you work with, trusted, is responsible for the death of six colleagues. How are we supposed to deal with that? Tony! It's like the van that cab reported stolen. Yeah, it is. But they never said it would be on fire. Hi! Valiant effort. Thanks. Sierra Oscar from 158 receiving. Go ahead. Thanks for the back of the van. Hang on a minute, Ed. Events over the last 12 hours have left everyone shell-shocked. Over the next few days, other issues will come to light. The resignation of Danny Glaze, for example. There will be many questions to which you'll want answers. I'm sorry. Right now, we don't have those answers. All I know is that we're in the middle of a storm which is likely to get worse before it gets better. Whatever damage Des Tavener caused, it is not irreparable. The storm will pass, we will pick ourselves up, the whole relief, and go on. Thank you. Right, so... Reg, how did you go with Madden last night? Oh, I don't think I helped much, huh? Well, what about Buck and McCluskey? Did he ask you about that? Can I have two teeth? Reg, so 
Who's this Danny Glaze then? Oh, he was in CID. Hey, that was really weird. Just bailed out one day. Because of debt? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Got them. I thought it was a good speech. Only if it makes a difference. Sir, first edition. Don't tell me this story's leaked already. No, it's about something else. I think you should see this. No, don't worry about it. It's fine. These things happen, don't they? You know, uh, we'll rearrange it. Gotta go. Have you seen this? Coles' trial has collapsed. Yeah. This is the same guy who was behind the siege in which Gary's dad died. Ellis may have killed him, but Bob Coles set him up. Swings of roundabouts. I thought, OK, so we can't get him on that. But at least we'll get him for smuggling cocaine. But if a key witness doesn't show, sir. Frightened off. And then he has the cheek to bang on about malicious prosecution. It's bad enough having to read this stuff. But on today of all days... You want me to do something about it? Can you? Maybe, yeah. Uniform attended an abandoned van earlier. They found a truck driver gagged and bound in the boot. Another hijack? I think so, yeah. But we have intelligence that suggests that Coles is behind it. Yeah? Yeah. Then do it. Go after Coles. Absolutely. And use as many men as you need. I want Coles banged up where he should be by now. Yeah, you heard me, Neil. Son Hilda needs a big result, and fast. Doubling up a cell isn't good practice. Well, there was nothing to indicate there'd be a problem. She completed Form 57M in relation to McCluskey's mental health. You know, Sheila Murphy is an experienced custody sergeant. So she says. Well, just listen to the blooming tape. That's my problem I have, and the audio is not clear. And PC Hollis admits that he was distracted. He heard nothing either. Well, I'm sure it's there. I hope so. Because I've made some inquiries into Robert McCluskey. And he's a very dangerous man. We know that Coles heads up the team that's responsible for all this activity. But at the moment, our best intelligence is information received that points to the four truck hijacks over the last two months. Four? I thought it was three, guys. Well, there was still this morning. Uniform found the latest victim in the back of a stolen van. The driver's name is Simon Neal, works for a local haulage firm. Where's he now? St. Hughes. Now, the super is set as a challenge, and I'm determined to deliver. So, to make things a bit more interesting, whoever nicks Coles can have this. A luxury weekend for two in Paris. I want him to cancel, so... It's up for grabs. Listen, you don't need to do that, Gov. Licking coals will be enough. Oh, yeah. Right, DC Thatcher and I will go down to St. Hughes, talk to the driver. You chase up the van, yeah? Yes, Sarge. Well, get your coat. Huh? Yeah. So, you're gonna run Simon Neal's name through the computer, yeah? You're keen? But you're upset on these tickets to Paris, have you? Look, I don't need no dangling carrot to get out of the coast, trust me. Yeah, well, let's go and check Neil first, see what his story is. Yeah, uh, nature calls. Uh, see you later, Dick Sarge. on the tape? Oh, it's not been cleaned up yet. <sighs> this is crazy. I mean, June Ackland was standing right beside me. She must have heard everything. Well, it's not that simple. Madden has told me that McCluskey has a history of mental illness and violence. How did you know that? Yeah, go and buy yourself something sexy. I've got a shooting store for you. Yeah? Well, how would you like to go to the city of romance. Pop. You alright? Done. Any news on this? Someone said it could have been suicide. News if I care. Do you get any more trouble from the kids last night? No. I was just going to give Frank a call. We're going out this evening. You are? But I know what you're thinking, Tom. Paul, he's a journalist. Don't tell me you're not thinking the same as me. Morning, guys. I'll oh, catch you later. Sorry. Paul, are you busy? No. You did a job on Coles, is that right? Yeah, about a year ago. You fancy picking up the pieces? Yeah. Good, because he's in the frame for these hijackings. Now, I need as much background as possible. Can you cross-reference that with the van thefts? Terrific. Give me a call later, yeah? Yeah. Mr. Neil. I'm DC Thatcher. This is DS Hunter. We'd like, like to ask some questions some... about what happened. Well, it's all very, you know... Confusing. Yeah, well, just tell us what you can. Okay. I'd uh, just returned from the continent. I was on the last bit of the journey. Yeah. What time was this? 11 o'clock news had just been on the radio. I, uh, I turned into the Heathfield Industrial Estate when this white van pulled out in front. 
these uh, two guys in masks. And... Did they say anything? Yeah, the usual. They had the door open, shouting. I tried to kick one. You fought back? I knew they wanted the truck. I wasn't going to let them. You knew? Look, they, they said I might have a concussion. Mr. Neal. Cart this way. No, I'm afraid it can't. Now, what did you mean when you said you knew? Look, there have been other hijacks, yeah? I want the first. Yeah, but the other drivers weren't found with their hands tied up in the back of a van. And quite clearly, you provoked them. Unless I'm missing something here. Yeah? You think I'm lying? I don't know, Mr. Neal. But the hijackers knew where to find you. You got any idea how? What? They got their information from somewhere. Is this for real, mate? Or am I missing something here? Whatever it is, we're done. I don't have to listen to this no more. What, you reckon I went in too hard? I didn't think it was such a good idea to treat him as a suspect, Sarge. Listen, he might be shaken up, but he's hiding something, right? Yeah, yeah, true. OK, so uh, what do we do now? We'll go to the haulage firm where he works. Let's see if he really is the employee of the mum. Uh, I was looking for June. Well, she's out in the area, Carl. I need to speak to her. I need to know exactly what she told Madden. And I need you in custody. Mum, I... No, now, Sheila. MIT have finished. You're working for business again. Sorry. <sighs> you from Samuel? Dears Hunter, this is DC Thatcher. Charles Bennett. It was my truck that got stolen. How's Simon? Yeah, we've just left him at St. Hughes. Did he, uh, tell you what happened? Yeah, he gave us his account. Said he was returning from a job. Yeah, Eastern Europe. Via book arrest. You got the exact route? Uh, Janice will sort you. Can you give us full details of the cargo as well, please? Uh, it was electronics. Flat screens and DVD players. All fully insured, yeah? Of course. You want to see the papers? Please. Janice? So how long was Simon Neal working for you? It will be 20 years next month. I was planning a celebration. You consider him a loyal employee? Almost family. No problems at all? Look, I know where you're going with this and I don't like it. Where am I going with this? Don't patronise me, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Simon Neal is the best driver I've ever had. Totally honest, totally reliable. He had nothing to do with the theft of my truck, period. Now why don't you come back when you find out who did? So you think that Neil is involved? His account was inconsistent. So where does that leave us? We've got details of the cargo, the route, and Neil stopped off in Bucharest. And Tirana. Where? Tirana. It's the capital of Albania. It's also a centre for human trafficking, specifically sex workers. So they're saying Coles is importing uh, Tom's? I don't know. But why hijack four truckloads of cheap TVs? I mean, where's the profit in that? Go on. OK. Well, I was following up the stolen van. I had Polly Page do some background. Now, she not only worked out the Albanian connection, but she discovered when she looked into the other trucks that an hour before each one, a van was stolen nearby. And? Well, if each hijack was a two-man job, why steal a van to do it? That makes sense. Unless you're transferring illegals from the trucks. It's completely circumstantial. Yeah, maybe. It's worth looking into. Get on to it. D.I. Manson? Yeah. I'd like to speak to Neil again, see what he has to say. Well, I'll be my guest. OK. Good job. Well, yeah. There you go, mate. Cheers. Neil won't talk, now that he knows that we're on to him. It's time to turn up the heat. I've got a snout who used to be in Cole's loop. What about someone who still is? I've been doing a bit of digging around, and uh, one of Cole's associates is wanted for theft. Paul Cook. So I thought whilst uh, Terry goes running around, you and I can pick up Mr Cook and have a quiet word. All right, you're on. Got to take yeah. Hello, Precious. Look, I know I let you down, but I could... Listen, I'll make it up to you, all right? What about... A... Listen to me. What about a trip to Paris? Me and you on my show. Oh, come on, babe. Look, I've got the ticket. Mr. Neil, 
Chrissy Perkins, Sun Hill. How are you feeling? As if you care. And why wouldn't I care? You've been a victim of a serious crime, a nasty and vicious attack. I'll be fine when I get out of here. And when you get home, to your wife. Was that her? Yeah. Well, maybe then you'll remember more about the attack. Maybe I'll just want to forget it. No, I don't blame you. Tell me, why do you think they tied you up, Mr. Neal? I'm a fighter, me. Well, clearly. That's what I told her. Told who? Your wife? Look, it wasn't just my job. That cab's like a second home to me. When I'm on the road, I live and sleep in it. You ask any trucker. I told her straight. Why the hell should I let him take any of that, eh? Well, to British justice, gentlemen, we love it. British, British justice. 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 <laughs> Bad enough looking at him once. What, was that Cook? Yeah. Sitting next to Coles in a black jacket. <sighs> what? Well, we found him, haven't we? Yeah, only we can't go over there because he's sitting next to Coles. Now, you got any other suggestions? Yeah, well, you know, we could wait and then... Um... No, I don't think so. Well, well. Now, I hope you haven't promised anybody a dirty weekend in Paris, mate. Oh, good. Because it's not yours to promise, is it? Right. Time to resort to plan A, I think. Right. Yeah, it's still on time. Mr. Cook. Yeah? D.C. Thatcher, Sun Hill. I'd like to ask you about uh, an outstanding warrant. I've already been charged with that. Uh, Mr. Cook. You can't nick me twice. I know the rules. So do I. Yeah, well, I ain't going nowhere. Is that right? Yeah. Paul Cook, I'm arresting you on suspicion of theft. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Number two. You can't do this, I'm telling you. This is a false arrest. I assume he's sounding off. Absolutely. Look, give him half an hour, he'll soon calm down. Cheers. Listen, don't you want to get straight at him? Is there a problem, Sarge? What? You're just jumping a gun, nothing else. Oh, you mean making progress? Progress? Yeah, as opposed to watching you all morning steaming in mob handed and getting nowhere. At least we've got a body now. <laughs> you really do want to win these tickets, don't you? Two rides. See, I've got myself lined up a fit, top draw totty. And Sarge, please don't go on like you don't with those tickets as well. Well, let's put it this way. I've no intention of losing to you. And when it comes down to quality women, my little black book's full of them. Really? Hmm. We'll bring it on, baby. Every man for himself. Bring it on. I remember when these came out. Fantastic vehicle. You ever drive one? Only the toy version. No, I do feel old. You got any news? We're following a number of leads, as they say. Is that the uh, party line? No, DI's made this a priority. We're doing all we can. The service records from the stolen truck. Oh, cheers. Why don't you service them here? We did until our mechanic retired. Now it's just basic maintenance, oil changes and the such. Anything bigger and we go to a garage. Canley Commercial Repairs. It was Simon who recommended them. Any reason for that? When you're running 20 trucks, you're always trying to save cash. They took a bit longer, but they were cheaper. Any problem with them? None so far. Let me ask you a question. The woman sitting beside Simon in that photograph, who is she? That's his wife. It was their 20th wedding anniversary last year. Oh, excuse me, just hang on. Thanks. Rage. 
We found the tractor unit. Hello, Graham. Busy. Yeah, I am too. Busy, busy, busy. I don't know I saw you on that. You alright, love? So when's the big day? Next week. Oh, you might be inside by then. What is it, credit card fraud? Yeah, well, I'm hoping a judge will chill out a bit. Doubt it, mate. Not with a serial offender like you, he won't, eh, can he? You gonna need a little help from your friends? Well, you're putting a word. Yeah, I could do. Letter to the judge, you know how it is. But first, I need some information out of you about someone who we both share history with. Bob Coles. Nah. And his involvement with these truck hijacks. Coles is our call, man. Look, do you want to be there for the birth of your child? Now I've heard it's an amazing experience when you hold that baby in your arms for the first time. Well, I just hope someone takes some photos. No. A letter, yeah? To the judge. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. Good. Now, I need something I can use within an hour. Don't let me down. So you think Danny Glaze was a victim in all this? You got involved with Des Tavern, are you? That man manipulated everyone. How do you think he kept it quiet for so long? All right. No sign on the trailer. Same MO as the others. It'll be well gone by now. Let's go out forensics, will you? Tell him it's just come back from the garage. That's a good point, actually. Polly, it's Terry. You up for some more digging? What is it now? Okay. I need to know where and when the last three hijack lorries were serviced. Right, I'll get on to it. So Cook doesn't want to breathe? No. He still maintains he's been interviewed about this offence at Barton Street. Charge two. Whatever. Interview room three. Cheers. This way, gentlemen. Barton Street. Could I speak to the custody officer, please? Get back to me. Still, it's good news. We found your tractor unit. Yeah? No sign of the trailer, I'm afraid. But they left all your personal stuff, including this. Who's Maureen? Your wife, is she? Saw a picture of her back at the workshop. It's none of your business. Given the seriousness of the crime, Mr. Neil, everything's my business. Now answer the question. You can answer the question here or down at the station. Look, I'm the victim here. I'm the one they tied up and shoved in a van. Have you forgotten that? I'm going to ask you one more time. Simon Neil, I'm arresting you on suspicion of theft. You do not have to say anything. So, Mr. Cook, two words. Bob Coles. Now, you know his history, don't you? I mean, after what he said in the papers, every station in London is gunning for him. And you know forensics are going to send you down for the theft you're under suspicion for. Oh, yes. It's a done deal, baby. So, if you give us some information to give Bab Coles, well then, you see that... We see that, John. You are in so much trouble. Interview suspended. 13.13 hours. Don't go away. Sergeant Murphy just spoke to Barton Street. They told her that Cook has already been charged with the offence you arrested him for. What? She then did a PNC check. Found that the wanted docket is no longer valid. Did you know about this? <laughs> no, sir. When was the last time you checked? Well, actually, um, I think uh, I think it was this morning, sir. Yeah, I believe you, Thatcher. With all due respect, sir, I thought you said we wanted to go after Cole. I didn't want you to break the law. Cook could sue us for unlawful arrest. Is that what you think we need right now? Release him, Thatcher, and 
you better pray that he doesn't go running to a solicitor, because if he does, I will disown you. I will hang you out to dry. Any more on that information, Paul? Yeah, it seems the three other lorries were serviced at the same garage for Canley Commercial Repairs. Mm. And here's the clincher. The garage changed hands six months ago, and the word is, new owner is Bob Coles. Bob Coles? No, I can't! No, I can't! Pass in the van! Don't put me in the cell! Listen, Neil. Just go and do it! Don't put me in the cell! Go help me in! Please! Please! Hello, Pop. Pop, Hollies? You all right now? Oh, I'm sorry. I just pulled Rob Thatcher out of an interview with Cook. I know, it was a long shot. Neil, it was an unlawful arrest. I understand your concerns, sir. Thatcher overstepped the mark. No, it's more than that. Perhaps we need to pause. With respect, Reconsider sir. Reconsider our approach. No. Sir, I think this is bigger than four truckloads of cheap imports. I think Bob Cole's involved in human trafficking. On what evidence? It's coming together. Just give me till the end of the day, so you promised me a free reign. I think this evidence could give us the result that we all want, and more. Now's not the time to lose nerve. All right. Come on, love, it's all right, it's all right. Oh, no, it's not all right. It's just seeing that bloke in custody brought it all back. Mm. Oh, nights were the worst, Reg. People crying, shouting. I'd wake up and lie there thinking. Going over and over. You never stopped thinking. Hmm. You know, there's dreaded going to prison. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I mean, for all his fun, he was scared. That's why he ran away from everything. That's what happened was a blessing. Oh, you don't mean that. Yeah, I do. At least he's at peace now. That's all he ever really wanted. I know what I wanted the whole time I was inside. I just wanted to come back and do the job I loved. I can't now, can I? And working with Terry's brought it all home to me. Being a civvy ain't enough, Reg. Who was our kidding? If I can't be a proper copper, there's nothing here for me, is there? Sorry. What's the latest on, dears? Who? Oh, I'm trying not to think about it, mate. Hey, yeah. We heard what happened. Yeah, and listen, mate, when it comes to calls, the ends justify the means, yeah? So that's a super. He's just really stressed out. What? So he takes it out on the easy target? Are you saying he chose you? I'm saying it isn't the first time he's picked on a brother. If you know what I mean. June, we need to talk about McCluskey. Shit, I'm on refs. I need to know exactly what you told Madden. I'm not even supposed to be talking about this with you. If you must know, I told him I didn't hear anything. Miss Phil here, just pick up the phone and give me a call back. It's all sorted, all right? You got the letter? Yeah. Now, as long as your information's good, this letter goes to the judge. Right, the person you want is Maureen Richardson. She does the accounts of Canley Commercial Repairs. She's been playing hard to get. Who with? A load of sad middle-aged truck drivers. She flashes a bit of leg, lets them think they're going to get lucky, as long as they switch business to them. And then she calls a truck in just before a big job abroad. What, Albania? You got it. But instead of servicing them, Coles has compartments fitted in the trailers for illegals. What, and the driver don't know anything about it? Ah, he's still dreaming of Maureen. Good. You just earned yourself a suspended sentence. Right, do you want to tell us about Maureen Richardson? She worked at the garage. Were you having an affair with her? No. Mm. For the benefit of the tape, I'm now showing the suspect exhibit TP1. <coughs> Well, as I'm waiting, Wing, would you like a promise to sleep with you if you give all your business to Canley Commercial Repairs or something? <laughs> there was no affair. No? You wanted one, though, didn't you, Mr Neil? You see, our information suggests that you weren't the only driver she made promises to. All the other trucks were serviced there as well. 
And Maureen's already got form for fraud and deception. Did you tell her you were a fighter, Simon? She encouraged me. That's what you wanted to hear. But she tipped off the hijackers. That's why they went in hard. What, tied me up? Mm. She wanted to give you a scare. But you knew that, didn't you? I've been a real fool, haven't I? Yeah. You gonna tell my wife? Nah. We won't tell anyone. As long as you make a full statement. I've got the preliminary post-mortem on Des Tavener. Primary cause of death was internal bleeding from a ruptured spleen, probably caused by a violent kick to the upper abdomen. But the question I keep coming back to is what was he doing in there? We've been over this. It was a temporary measure. I treated him exactly like any other prisoner. Except you have no independent witness. Perhaps I should have my Fed rep here. Fine. I know what I did. Yes, and I know your history with Des Tavener gave you a very good reason for wanting him punished. You're saying I put McCluskey in there on purpose? Is that what you're saying? Did you? Let me get this straight. You've established a link between the four hijacks and Maureen Richardson. Yeah, in each case you arrange for a lorry to come into Kenley Motors just before a trip abroad, which stops off in Albania. Yeah, not only that, Coles was using the garage as a front. We've also got a statement from Simon Neal. Now, if we take statements from the other three drivers, sir, we could arrest Richardson. What a worn off Coles. We'll be back to square one. There is another option. In his statement, Simon Neal said that when Maureen Richardson visited him in St. Hughes, she asked about a route another truck from Bennett and Mays would be taken tonight. It could be that Coles is planning another job. So, how about an obo? Based on Neal's say, sir. I know it's high risk, but so is the payoff. Catching Coles red-handed. That's what all this is about, isn't it? You're right. We've come too far to play it safe now. Make the arrangements. You packed your bags yet? <laughs> it ain't over yet, Sarge. Oh, yes, it is. Don't worry, I'll send you a postcard. Yeah, yeah. Dream on, baby. Sheila? Yeah. She walked into the canteen and went straight for a gin. Yeah, well, I heard MIT have been giving her a hard time. Well, she and Des were lovers, weren't they? Yeah. Night. Night. Hi, it's me. Can we meet? Are you doing this on purpose? What are you talking about? I played it totally straight with McCluskey, so why didn't you tell Madden that? Oh, Sheila. He accused me of putting McCluskey in with Des deliberately. Well, that's ridiculous. Then tell him. And perhaps all these rumours will stop. I can't get involved. Can't or won't. Do you think I'm enjoying this? I think it makes you feel better. Sheila, I didn't hear what was said in custody and I certainly haven't spread any rumours. I don't believe you. My office. No. I heard all of that and so did most of the station. I just want MIT to know the truth. And you think making allegations against June helps? Look, no matter what people are saying, you're just going to have to ride it. That's easy for you to say. I'm involved in this investigation as well. What are you being accused of? Deal with it, Sheila. MIT, DPS, whatever they throw at you. Just keep your head down and keep working. And don't go upsetting your colleagues. You never know when you might need them. Right. Come on. They're late. You know what? Ambush. 
all units from DI Manson receiving. Go ahead. Tugs on the way, stand by. Yes, we get it. ARV agent are required, Wave Bank Industrial Estate. Get him out! None of them look like holes. Sir, if we don't go now, I want calls. Suspects decamping truck and Ford van follow at distance. Good. Think you'll ever forgive him, Tom? If you'd asked me that yesterday, I would have said no. Hope he burns in hell. But now, now I think Des was more sad than he was bad. Made a mistake with those false fifties, and look where he's ended up. Doesn't make sense, but I suppose we all need to find a way to move on. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And that's why I'm going to take a risk with Frank Fisher Tone. Despite what you say, I've got to start living again. You understand, don't you? That's Coles. Go! 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 Come on, you're safe now. All right. Okay. Mr. Coles, we don't give up that easy. You don't think I'm going down for this? Sir, look what we found. Robert Coles, I'm arresting you on suspicion of importing illegal immigrants for the purposes of prostitution. And for importing cocaine. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Take him. Andrea, finally. What have you got for me? Okay, thanks. Good news, sir. Uniform I've just picked up Maureen Richardson. So we got a full house? Yeah. Congratulations, everyone, on a fantastic operation. I asked you for a big result and you delivered, and on a day when it really mattered. So, raise your glasses, ladies and gentlemen. To Sun Hill. Sun Hill. Sun Hill. Sun Hill. Thanks, sir. Well, Terry. I think these are yours, mate. Oh, no, thanks, Gov. Well, you Nick Coles. I'll tell you what, why don't we sell them to the highest bidder? What, an auction? Yeah. All the proceeds can go to charity. What do you say, you in? All right, Mother Teresa. You're on. 200 pounds. Sarge, you in? Yeah. 225. 250. 275. 300 pounds. Sarge? June! 
I don't think we've got anything more to say to each other, have we? Look. I know I shouldn't have said what I said. But over the last few months, I've lost everything else in my life. You want me to lose my job, too? I... Uh... Once McCluskey's charged, they'll kick it into the long grass. And let's face it, it's nothing I couldn't have paid any plod 50 for. I thought you wanted stories. An ex copper dying in custody is hardly insignificant. A bit of tap for page six is all well and good, Andrea, but it's not going to win any awards. I want the inside story, the stuff they won't sell us. Now, what about your conversation with DC Thatcher? Sounding off about the super. Thatcher implied it wasn't the first time he'd gone for a black officer. O'Cara's the Met's favourite PR tool post McPherson. Expose him as a black racist super, and you've really got a story worth my investment. Are you serious? Keep the tidbits coming. But Cara's the real story I'm after. And if you're not up for it, you better tell me now. No, of course I am. I didn't go through all the training to give up now. But he's hardly quoting Met policy with his stance on legalising cannabis, is he? If you're suggesting he's a Met puppet, then surely... Cannabis just... is old news. And what better gimmick to put you in the public eye than something that everyone's been advocating for, for years? I thought we were for exposing Met corruption, not bringing one man down. In my experience, take out one and the rest will follow. No, Okara was our man. The Met's favourite token black superintendent. Now, are you going to get me this story, or what? Next time on The Bill. I did put Jess in the same cell as McCloskey. Even I can't deny that. They are still investigating. But it's bad enough, isn't it? I mean, this is my job on the line. Back when I knew Superintendent Akaro, he wasn't quite so squeaky clean.